Let's now shift our focus to Saudi Arabia. The holy city of Mecca is witnessing uh, massive storms, lightning strikes. In the heart of Mecca, where millions of faithful Muslims converge annually, a remarkable event unfolded that sent shockwaves around the world. The Kaaba, a symbol of devotion and reverence, became the epicenter of an extraordinary occurrence that captivated the global audience. What extraordinary things occurred in Kaaba? Why do they shock the world? Join us as we delve into what just happened in Kaaba in Mecca, shocked the world, history of Kaaba. Before the rise of Islam, the Kaaba served as a sanctuary, with Muslims attributing its construction to Abraham known as Ibrahim in Islamic tradition and his son Ismail. Tradition suggests that initially it was a modest, roofless, rectangular structure. Around 608 CE, the Quraysh tribe, rulers of Mecca, reconstructed the pre-Islamic Kaaba. They employed alternating courses of masonry and wood, elevating the door above ground level to safeguard the shrine from intruders and floods. Did the destruction and rebuilding of the Kaaba contribute to the strange happenings? What could be the reason behind all these strange happenings? Let's explore the Kaaba history. In 620 CE, Muhammad was expelled from Mecca and sought refuge in Yathrib, now Medina. Upon his victorious return to Mecca in 629 to 630 CE, the Kaaba assumed a central role in Muslim worship and pilgrimage. Initially, the pre-Islamic Kaaba housed the black stone and statues of pagan deities. Upon Muhammad's return, he is said to have purified the Kaaba of these idols, restoring it to the monotheistic beliefs of Ibrahim. The black stone, believed to have been bestowed upon Ibrahim by the angel Gabriel, holds deep reverence among Muslims. In 632 CE, the year of his passing, Muhammad performed his final pilgrimage, thus establishing the pilgrimage rituals in Islam. Throughout its history, the Kaaba has undergone significant modifications to accommodate the increasing number of pilgrims. Under the reign of the second caliph, Umar in 634 to 644, the area surrounding the Kaaba was expanded. Subsequently, Caliph Uthman in 644 to 656 constructed colonnades around the open plaza where the Kaaba stands and integrated other notable structures into the sanctuary. During the civil conflict between Caliph Abd al-Malik and Ibn Zubair, who held control over Mecca, the Kaaba suffered destruction by fire in 683 CE. It is reported that the black stone broke into three pieces, which Ibn Zubair then reunited using silver. He reconstructed the Kaaba with wood and stone, adhering to the original dimensions attributed to Ibrahim, while also paving the area around the Kaaba. Upon reclaiming Mecca, Abd al-Malik restored the section of the building believed to have been designed by Muhammad. However, these renovations have yet to be verified through the study of the structure or archaeological findings. Their details are solely outlined in later literary accounts. It is said that during the reign of the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid in 705 to 715, the mosque surrounding the Kaaba was decorated with mosaics reminiscent of the ones seen in the Dome of the Rock and the Great Mosque of Damascus. By the 7th century, the Kaaba was draped with kiswa, a black cloth that is ceremonially replaced on an annual basis during the Hajj pilgrimage. During the time of the early Abbasid caliphs in 750 to 1250, the mosque encircling the Kaaba underwent multiple expansions and modifications. According to accounts from travelers such as Ibn Jubayr, who witnessed the Kaaba in 1183, its architectural form remained reminiscent of the Abbasid style from the 8th century for several centuries thereafter. From 1269 to 1517, the Mamluks of Egypt held sway over the Hejaz, the mountainous region in Western Arabia where Mecca is situated. Sultan Kite Bey reigned 1468 to 1496, erected a madrasa or religious school adjacent to one side of the mosque. Under the rule of the Ottoman sultans, Suleiman I reigned 1520-1566, and Selim II reigned 1566-1574. to 1574. Significant renovations were carried out on the complex. In 1631, following the destruction caused by floods in the previous year, both the Kaaba and the surrounding mosque underwent complete reconstruction. This reconstructed mosque, which constitutes the present-day structure, features a spacious central plaza with columns on all four sides, and adorned with seven minarets, 
the largest number seen in any mosque worldwide. At the heart of this expansive courtyard lies the Kaaba, accompanied by many other sacred edifices and monuments. The last major modifications were carried out in the 1950s by the government of Saudi Arabia to accommodate the increasingly large number of pilgrims who come on the Hajj. Today, the mosque covers almost 40 acres. Mysterious sound at the Kaaba. Mecca, known for its harsh weather, experiences dramatic fluctuations in temperature, rainfall, wind, and dust storms every year. However, in a recent weather event, nature's fury took center stage, unleashing extraordinary phenomena that surpassed the usual extremes. During a peaceful night, an unexpected and unsettling noise echoed near the Kaaba, causing confusion and fear among the people. Witnesses and video recordings confirm that the loud and distinct sound, reminiscent of a trumpet, occurred around 3 a.m. The noise continued for about 10 seconds before suddenly stopping. Some individuals near the Kaaba reported feeling a vibration or shockwave accompanying the sound, while others observed a luminous flash or bright light in the sky. Recordings capturing the sound quickly spread across various social media platforms, garnering rapid and widespread attention. Many people participated in discussions and debates about the nature and significance of the event. The unsettling sound, having surfaced on social media platforms, sparked a flurry of activity in the digital realm, leading to a variety of interpretations. Some viewers, deeply moved, perceived it as a celestial admonition urging introspection, repentance, and spiritual awakening. However, skeptics dismissed it as a well-planned hoax, orchestrated by someone equipped with advanced audio technology cleverly hidden from sight. Others considered it a playful prank, designed to bewilder and mystify the unsuspecting audience. As the echoes of this mysterious sound gradually faded, it left behind a landscape of contemplation and speculation. Was it a natural occurrence or a mystical event entwined with ancient prophecies? Saudi Arabia's reputation for extreme weather only added to the prevailing uncertainty. Bird recitation at Kaaba. In the aftermath of the enigmatic sound, another captivating video swiftly circulated across social media platforms. This video captured a Quranic recitation at the Kaaba, however, with a remarkable twist. Unlike conventional recitations delivered by human voices, this rendition emanated from a bird. Perched upon the roof of the Kaaba, the bird, resembling either a pigeon or a dove, eloquently recited verses from the Quran. The verses praised the greatness and mercy of God, with the bird's melodious voice blending harmoniously with the rhythm and tone of the sacred text. The emergence of these mysterious events at the Kaaba, the revered site of Islam in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, has prompted a surge of interest and contemplation. Many contemplate whether these events are simply natural phenomena or if they carry profound spiritual meaning. Such inquiries have triggered a multitude of interpretations and viewpoints, especially among followers of Islam and Christianity. Some Muslims view these events as divine signs from Allah, serving as admonitions for humanity to repent and prepare for the imminent day of judgment. They reference verses from the Quran and Hadith that prophesy signs of the end times, including the advent of the Antichrist, the return of Jesus, and the sounding of the trumpet. Additionally, they draw attention to the moral decay, societal unrest, and conflicts plaguing the world, urging adherence to Islamic teachings and seeking divine mercy and forgiveness before it is too late. Conversely, certain Christians interpret these events as heralds of the second coming of Jesus Christ, who will establish his kingdom on earth and vanquish the Antichrist. They cite biblical passages describing the signs of the end times, such as the rapture, the tribulation, and the battle of Armageddon. Additionally, they highlight the fulfillment of prophecies and the global dissemination of the gospel, alongside the persecution endured by Christians worldwide. Encouraging believers to embrace Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they emphasize readiness for his imminent return. Regardless of religious belief, the events at the Kaaba prompt introspection and spiritual reflection. They beckon individuals, whether Muslim or Christian, to ponder their lives and their relationship with God. The Cyclones, breeding apocalyptic locusts. In 2018, the Arabian desert witnessed the passage of two cyclones named Makunu and Lubin, setting the stage for the emergence of ideal conditions for locust breeding. These cyclones, resembling nature's dramatic dance, marked a rise in cyclonic activity in the Persian Gulf region, attributed to changing climate patterns. 
Subsequently, an unexpected sight unfolded. The cyclones created temporary lakes in the Rub al Khali, a landscape rarely touched by such bodies of water. These fleeting aquatic habitats offered locusts an ideal breeding ground, leading to their remarkable proliferation over a captivating nine-month span. During this period, three consecutive generations of locusts flourished, leading to an astonishing 8,000-fold rise in their numbers. Social media platforms buzzed with videos capturing the breathtaking sight of locust swarms enveloping the sacred city, mesmerizing residents and locals alike. The locusts traversed through the city's core from the northern direction before authorities regained control in the east. This visual narrative not only evoked unease but also highlighted the remarkable resilience and preparedness of the Saudi authorities, who efficiently managed the locust invasion to a resolution. However, this event was not an isolated occurrence within the kingdom's borders. In recent years, the recurring challenge of locust infestations has sparked a deeper contemplation of their significance, prompting questions about potential spiritual or environmental implications. In a city where every occurrence is often interpreted through the lens of faith and symbolism, such reflections take on added significance. Consider the weather patterns of the Arabian Peninsula, where an increase in cyclonic activity has emerged as a notable feature. The heightened frequency and intensity of these cyclones are not mere coincidences, but rather direct outcomes of global weather patterns undergoing shifts. The warming of the Indian Ocean, a pivotal element in the broader climatic system, has disrupted traditional cyclone formation patterns. This climatic upheaval has not only intensified cyclone activity in regions like the Persian Gulf, but has also triggered consequential weather events, such as heavy rainfall transforming arid landscapes into unexpected oases. In this captivating natural spectacle, the influence on locust behavior is unquestionably significant, typically stationary and relatively harmless. Locusts undergo a remarkable change when certain environmental factors, triggered by heavy rainfall and subsequent vegetation growth, are present. As we contemplate this remarkable occurrence, we are urged to contemplate the delicate equilibrium among nature, spirituality, and human involvement. Can the presence of locusts invading such a revered location provoke us to reflect on these intertwined aspects? The responses lie within the captivating interaction of cyclones, locusts, and the evolving climate, a story that unfolds on the magnificent stage of nature. The colossal swarm of apocalyptic locusts, adding an element of mystery to the story, the Kaaba, symbolizing devotion, unexpectedly becomes the setting for a mysterious occurrence during the sacred month of Ramadan. In a truly surprising twist, locusts descend upon the revered serenity of Mecca, the holiest site in Islam. The tranquil atmosphere is suddenly disrupted by the arrival of a massive swarm of these insects. The magnificent Grand Mosque, a marvel of architecture and a symbol of deep spirituality is enveloped in a surreal scene reminiscent of an apocalyptic tale. The unfolding spectacle sees migratory black grasshoppers, identified as locusts, descending upon the city, creating an otherworldly tableau around the sacred grounds. The air becomes charged with a palpable sense of threat as these insects swarm around cleaners and worshippers unsettling the very essence of the space where millions of pilgrims converge annually. The burning question on everyone's mind is what could have triggered such an extraordinary occurrence at this most revered of locations. The sudden appearance of locusts in staggering numbers prompts the authorities at Islam's holiest site to initiate a swift and decisive response. A large-scale cleaning operation involving 22 specialized teams comprising a total of 1,338 individuals is swiftly deployed, as reported by the Times of Israel. Mecca's authorities underscore the urgency of the situation, emphasizing the need for immediate action to address this unprecedented challenge. The urgency to swiftly eradicate the insects to ensure the safety and comfort of the visitors at the holy site emphasizes the seriousness of the situation. This unforeseen crisis has evolved into a monumental endeavor aimed at preserving the sanctity of the sacred grounds. The captivating world of these locusts adds an element of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. Typically, desert locusts emerge after periods of heavy rainfall following droughts. Their life cycle involves feeding on new foliage and laying eggs in moist soil. However, 
It is the remarkable phenomenon of Gregorization that takes precedence, a striking transformation where these initially solitary, green, and nocturnal insects morph into larger black and yellow creatures actively seeking out others of their kind. This swarming behavior leads to vast locust armies displaying an insatiable appetite for vegetation. The heightened metabolic activity and elongated wings of these transformed insects enable them to embark on extensive journeys, covering great distances in search of fresh foliage and favorable weather conditions. This intricate ecological ballet not only underscores the disruptive nature of the locust infestation, but also showcases the dynamic and astonishing forces of nature at play in the sacred heart of Mecca. The intriguing invasion in Mecca can be traced back to ecological conditions that have set the stage for an extraordinary surge in locust populations. Some people wondered if they had a symbolic meaning, as they are mentioned in the Quran and the Bible as a sign of God's wrath. In the Bible, locusts often emerge as potent symbols of divine wrath and devastation. A prominent instance of this symbolism is found in the Eighth Plague of Egypt, recounted in the Book of Exodus. When Pharaoh obstinately refused to release the Israelites from bondage, God unleashed a swarm of locusts to inflict havoc upon the land as a form of retribution in Exodus 10 verse 4 to 15. In this narrative, the locusts served as a vivid reminder of God's sovereignty and the dire consequences of defying His will. Furthermore, the prophet Joel foretold of a looming locust plague that would herald the coming day of the Lord, a period of divine judgment in Joel 1 verse 2. These biblical depictions of locust swarms are often interpreted as symbolic preludes to divine intervention, urging humanity to repent and reorient themselves towards God. Ethereal, glittery night sky. A celestial phenomenon of profound mystery unfolded one night, as the sky above the Kaaba shimmered with an unearthly brilliance, captivating pilgrims and residents alike. The atmosphere crackled with an inexplicable energy, as though the cosmos itself were preparing for an extraordinary occurrence. As the clock struck midnight, an ethereal glow enveloped the Kaaba, beckoning the faithful towards it like moths to a flame. A gentle hum permeated the air, resonating with the beating hearts of onlookers, while the entire city seemed to hold its breath in eager anticipation. Suddenly, the doors of the Kaaba slowly swung open, revealing a blinding light emanating from within. Gasps of astonishment rippled through the crowd, and news of the spectacle spread rapidly across social media, captivating people of all faiths and backgrounds. Witnesses reported seeing figures adorned in resplendent robes emerge from the sacred structure, their radiant and benevolent presence bearing an otherworldly aura, communicating not through words, but through a profound and brilliant connection that transcended linguistic barriers, these beings conveyed a message of unity, love, and the interconnectedness of all humanity. The world watched in awe as images and videos flooded the internet, documenting the unprecedented event. Leaders of nations, religious scholars, and scientists alike grappled to comprehend the significance of this celestial visitation. While conspiracy theories circulated and theologians debated, the beings from the Kaaba continued to share their wisdom, addressing the world's most pressing issues with a depth of insight that surpassed human understanding. As weeks turned into days, the world underwent a profound transformation. Borders softened, conflicts ceased, and humanity, inspired by the visitation from the Kaaba, began to unite for the betterment of all. Technological advancements accelerated as scientists and researchers from diverse backgrounds collaborated on solutions to address climate change, poverty, and disease. The once divided world found common ground, and the reverberations of the Kaaba event rippled through history, leaving a legacy of unity and cooperation for generations to come. Eventually, the mysterious beings returned to the celestial realm, leaving the Kaaba to its revered state. Yet, the impact of what transpired within its sacred walls would forever echo in the hearts and minds of humanity. Thus, the story of the night the Kaaba opened its doors to the world became a legend, a beacon of hope that transcended religious and cultural divides, reminding humanity that in the face of the unknown, unity and love could illuminate the path forward. The End Times One of the signs of the end times is the destruction of the Kaaba, according to Hadith. In Islam, the Day of Judgment, 
known as Yawm Adin in Arabic, signifies the moment when all individuals are resurrected by Allah for judgment. They will be assessed to determine their eternal destiny, whether it be in Jannah, Paradise, or Jahannam, Hellfire. Belief in the Day of Judgment is a fundamental tenet of faith for Muslims, constituting one of the six articles of faith. While interpretations of Quranic teachings and Hadith regarding the end times vary and are intricate, signs indicating the imminent arrival of the Day of Judgment include disruptions in moral order and the natural world. Additionally, the appearance of the Messianic figures, Mahdi and Jesus, symbolizes the ultimate triumph of Islam's followers. These times are characterized by a decline in piety, marked by widespread indulgence in vices such as music, alcohol consumption, usury, homosexuality, and fornication, resulting in the deterioration of society. The earth itself will face destruction. However, amidst this tumultuous era, Jesus, known as Isa and the Mahdi, are prophesied to defeat the Antichrist figure Al-Dajjal, while Allah will eradicate the formidable Gog and Magog thereby restoring justice and ushering in the era of Sharia law. Muslim interpretations of the Quran and Hadith diverge significantly in determining the events leading up to Judgment Day and their significance. Various questions abound. Who will vanquish the Dajjal, the Mahdi, or Jesus? Will the Sufyani emerge in the end times? Sunni perspectives lean toward skepticism, while Shia beliefs assert affirmatively. Will the Mahdi collaborate with Jesus or be seen as Jesus himself? The duration of their reigns and the subsequent fate of the earth post their demise remain subjects of speculation, with Islamic eschatological literature offering widely varying estimates. The absence of explicit mention of the Mahdi in foundational Islamic texts, like the Quran, Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and prominent creeds like those authored by al-Ashari, al-Nasafi, al-Tahawi, and Abu Hanifa, among others, adds layers of complexity to this discourse. Consequently, the existence of the Mahdi itself is a matter of contention. These varying interpretations underscore the intricate and nuanced nature of Islamic eschatology, wherein different sects and scholars offer diverse perspectives on the events leading up to Judgment Day and the role of pivotal figures like the Mahdi and Jesus. An area of contention in the interpretation of apocalyptic literature revolves around identifying the metaphors, or what are perceived to be metaphors, within the prophecies. Numerous questions arise. Are the naked shepherds who construct towering structures representative of Gulf Arabs, who have undergone rapid socioeconomic transformation? Could the worshippers of the pre-Islamic deity Al-Lat symbolize groups like Shia Hezbollah, as posited by the Islamic State? Another mystery surrounds the identity of Rum, traditionally associated with the Romans, commonly interpreted by Muslims as the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantines, and geographically referring to Asia Minor. However, interpretations differ significantly, with suggestions ranging from the Vatican, Italy, Europe, NATO, Russia, the United States, to even the Turkish Republic. This diversity stems from the complex historical context in which the Turkish Ottoman Empire followed the Byzantine Empire, assuming the title of the Roman Empire, while the modern Turkish Republic inherited the central territories of the Ottoman Empire. As we approach the end times, it becomes crucial to reflect on the shared roots and divergences between various faith traditions, particularly Islam and Christianity. Both religions emanate from a common source and hold a fundamental belief in the oneness of God, the creator of the universe and all within it. Moreover, they both revere certain prophets and scriptures, including Abraham, Moses, and David, alongside shared texts such as the Torah and the Psalms. Additionally, there exists mutual respect for Jesus, acknowledged as a prophet and messiah in Islam, and as the Son of God and Savior in Christianity. This mutual reverence extends to the aspiration for a world characterized by peace, justice, and the manifestation of God's glory. However, despite these commonalities, Significant disparities exist in the doctrines and rituals of Islam and Christianity. These disparities encompass the understanding of Jesus' nature and role, the authority and interpretation of sacred texts, the concept and path to salvation, the rituals and obligations of worship, as well as the ethical and moral principles upheld by each faith. Regrettably, these differences have often fueled misunderstandings and conflicts, sometimes escalating into violence and oppression. Hence, 
It is our responsibility to nurture a profound comprehension of each other's beliefs and traditions, nurturing a culture of reverence and admiration for the rich array of our spiritual legacy. Furthermore, we must strive to pinpoint commonalities and cooperate for the collective betterment of humanity and the world. In these endeavors, it is crucial to recognize that ultimate judgment rests with God, who alone understands the truth and the deepest sentiments of individuals. Therefore, we should earnestly seek divine guidance and favor, praying for the establishment of God's realm on earth in alignment with His divine decree. Both Islam and Christianity converge on several fundamental beliefs concerning the end times, encompassing the resurrection of the dead, divine judgment, heavenly rewards, hellish punishment, and the pivotal role of Jesus as the Messiah and Savior. Nevertheless, variations emerge in the intricacies and interpretations of these doctrines, such as the timing and nature of the rapture, the identity and destiny of the Antichrist, the duration and unfolding of the tribulation, and the attributes and whereabouts of the kingdom of God. While these disparities provide fertile ground for constructive dialogue and scholarly discourse, they must not serve as catalysts for division or animosity. It is incumbent upon us to approach each other's perspectives with reverence, seeking to glean wisdom from diverse sources while steadfastly upholding our individual convictions and faith traditions. Moreover, guidance from the divine, as articulated in both the Quran and the Bible, underscores the inherent wisdom and providence underlying the intricate workings of the universe. In the Quran, believers are reminded of God's profound creative power, exemplified in the cycle of human development and the transformative force of rain upon barren earth. Similarly, the Bible urges followers to contemplate the eternal nature of time in God's perspective, emphasizing the divine patience and desire for all to embrace repentance. The impending day of the Lord is depicted as a cataclysmic event, signifying the culmination of earthly existence and the emergence of a new celestial order characterized by righteousness and divine sovereignty. Thus, in anticipation of this transformative day, adherents are enjoined to lead lives marked by holiness and godliness, aligning their actions with the divine will while ardently awaiting the fulfillment of God's promises. Ultimately, both traditions affirm the inevitability of divine judgment and the redemptive potential inherent in embracing spiritual righteousness. Hadith According to the Hadith, one of the final indications of the Day of Resurrection will involve the destruction of the Kaaba, the revered sanctuary in Mecca. The person who will do it is named Dul Suwe Katain. He will be from Ethiopia, Abyssinia, and will cause the destruction of Kaaba to steal Kaaba's cover, Kiswa, and treasure. This incident will happen when there will be no faithful Muslim remains in the world. In the interpretation of Surah Al-Anbiya, 21 verse 96 from the Quran, which mentioned that the incident of Gog and Magog Yajuj Majuj, it is mentioned that Dul Suwaykatain will first appear at the time of Prophet Isa, also known as Jesus, son of Mary. Prophet Isa will lead an army of seven to eight hundred Muslim soldiers who will march to fight Dul Suwaykatain. Allah is prophesied to dispatch a wind from the direction of Yemen, a wind that will claim the souls of all devout Muslim believers existing at that moment. Only individuals characterized by the gravest moral deficiencies will remain alive, resorting to base and animalistic behaviors, such as rampant copulation. Kaib further elaborated that during this period, the onset of the resurrection hour will be imminent. Gog and Magog, two evil nations that exhibited behaviors akin to animals, instigating chaos among the nearby Turkish populace. They're mentioned in Surah Al-Anfal, verse 196. Yajuj and Majuj ravaged the Turks' crops, took the lives of their loved ones, and inflicted misery upon their existence. Emerging from a highland with a fissure, Yajuj and Majuj traversed through this crevice, wreaking havoc upon those residing beyond its confines. King Zulkarnain, also known as Alexander the Great in other traditions, was a Muslim monarch renowned for his global expeditions and vast dominions. Legend has it that during one of his northern journeys, he encountered this mountainous terrain. Pleading for relief from the menace of Yajuj and Majuj, the Turks beseeched King Zulkarnain for assistance. Agreeing to their plea, King Zulkarnain took decisive action, sealing the crevice of the mountain with iron pieces 
thereby confining the malevolent tribes within. Although Gog and Magog have been confined behind the wall, King Zulkarnin recognized that their release would coincide with the close of the Day of Judgment, as ordained by Allah SWT. Since the construction of the wall, Gog and Magog have persistently sought to breach it. However, according to prophecy, during the era of Isa, a member of the Gog and Magog tribe will arise with the skill to dismantle the barrier. This event will signal the resurgence of Gog and Magog, posing significant danger to the world. Their emergence will trigger widespread chaos, causing shortages of food and water and leading to the loss of countless lives. Only through the prayers of Isa and his followers will Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala answer their pleas. Thanks for watching. Check out another interesting video by clicking on the link appearing on your screen right now. See you on the other side.